Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we have to discuss the fact that we are one week away until the Torture Poets Department is finally released Travis and Jason Kelsey's New Heights live show and the fact that it sounds like Travis and Taylor are going to be headed to Coachella today. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first, I said it at the top, but you guys, in one week, we will all have heard and listened to the Tortured Poets Department. We are one week away from release week or from release day. We're just a few days away from release week. And I honestly cannot believe it is already, we're, we're just so close. We are so freaking close. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to listen to this album, to talk about this album, to break down this album, talk about every single thing. I mean, you guys thought we're putting out a lot of videos now. Just wait until the album is released. We're gonna be breaking down every single angle of this album and I, I just can't wait. And I can't believe we are a week away from it being in our hands or in our ears, however you're gonna have it <laughs> and find it. Can't wait going to be so, so great. But we're still a week away. So there's other things to discuss. Most importantly, I think, is Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey's New Heights live show that they had in Cincinnati on Thursday night. Now, Taylor was not in attendance, which is not a surprise, honestly, because if she was in attendance, that place would have lost their ever-loving minds. It probably wouldn't have been safe honestly. Um, no idea as to whether or not she was there or not. Like maybe she was somewhere. I kind of doubt she was there um, behind the stage or backstage or something, but she wasn't in attendance. Kylie Kelsey though, however, was in attendance, which love Kylie, love whenever she's around. But uh, people loved, the internet loved when Travis Kelsey found himself jamming out to Shake It Off. Taylor's song. So if you missed it on the internet, there was a portion of the live show where um, people had to try to guess the song that was being played by the band. And at one point, the band starts to play Shake It Off. Travis recognizes it immediately, like the good boyfriend he is, starts to dance, starts to enjoy himself, and he says to the crowd, oh, I know this one. Um, the people obviously guess that it's shake it off. And Travis immediately says, one of my favorites. And then Jason says, one of Wyatt's favorites too, which now I need to know what are Wyatt Kelsey's favorite Taylor Swift songs. I have to imagine that Elliot, their middle child is probably still too young. Well, she might have opinions on what songs she likes, but Wyatt, she's four years old. She's definitely at that age where she has favorite songs. And I would love to know what her top three, top five Taylor Swift songs are. Shake It Off being one of them is not a surprise. But I just, I just loved seeing Travis be so comfortable with the fact that her song was being played and he didn't flinch. He didn't, he didn't feel uncomfortable about it. He just, he handles it all so well. They, they even played the like, um, the arena prior to the show starting, played 22, Cruel Summer. Like I just, I just loved it and it got me thinking. I feel like we've been talking a lot, obviously in anticipation of the Torture Poets Department coming out, like that this album is probably gonna be about Joe and how he was as a boyfriend <laughs> um, and how that whole relationship went down. And I think just kind of, I feel like I've been thinking a lot about the juxtaposition between Travis and Joe and the way that they've handled being Taylor Swift's partner. And like Joe didn't want anything to do with the association of Taylor Swift as it pertained to his career. Like he just, he never wanted to talk about it. He never wanted to answer any questions relating to Taylor Swift. He always kind of shot it down. He wanted to very much keep everything about his work and what he was doing. Whereas Travis is so comfortable answering questions. I mean, we saw him during the Super Bowl have to field so many Taylor Swift questions and he handled it so well. He's never afraid or never appears nervous when she gets brought up in conversation. He listens to her music in an arena full of people. Like he's just so comfortable. And I don't know, I think Taylor, it's interesting because a lot of people have been going through Taylor's old interviews and stuff that she did when she was like in her 20s before she met Joe. And there's a number of times where Taylor mentions that she doesn't want to be super private in a relationship and how she can't really deal with 
somebody who wants to keep the relationship super private because she's so public. And then obviously she meets Joe and she was at a point in her life where she really didn't want to be in public. And so the fact that Joe didn't want to either really worked for her. But I think what we're seeing now is like, that's just not, that's just not who she is. That's not what she wants in her in her life and she really wants to be with somebody who isn't afraid to say yes i'm dating taylor swift and i'm okay with that and i'm comfortable with that and i think travis does that superbly um also at the live show because jason and travis they both graduated from the university of cincinnati travis only graduated like a couple years ago but they never got to actually walk and get their diploma and all that stuff and so they had a little commencement ceremony for jason and travis they got to wear the cap and gown uh the president of of the school gave them their diplomas and then travis proceeded to chug a beer on stage which i mean that's the most travis kelsey thing i think i've ever seen in my life um so congratulations to both jason and travis for finally officially graduating getting their diplomas, um, and now they can say they are, I mean, they could say this before this as well, but they are college grads and Super Bowl champions. So congratulations to them for that great achievement. But it seemed like a great show. Joe Burrow was there, Orlando Brown was there um, from the Cincinnati Bengals, um, and it sounded like it was a great time. And I really hope, I being, you know, as a person from Kansas City, I would love to see Jason and Travis do something similar in Kansas City, because I think that could be a lot of fun. Um, and then just another quick note about, I know we talked about this a few times this week, the potential of Travis and Taylor going to Coachella. Well, according to the Daily Mail, they will be going to Coachella. It's confirmed this weekend. They've rented a house. They're gonna do it up, have do, do the whole thing, and they're going to obviously see Lana Del Rey, who performs tonight, Friday night, um, so we will have, hopefully, have stuff to discuss about Travis and Taylor at Coachella next week. Um, so keep your eyes peeled on social media if you want to see what Taylor and Travis are up to at, at Coachella. It sounds like it's going to be happening very, very soon. Um, all right, guys, that's it for today's show. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.